Okay, those are balls. Balls are not going to heal our paralysis. But you know what will heal our paralysis? A full heal that we paid $7.95 for. Yes. What? Did I not hit yes the first time? I must have not. Okay. So our entire journey here was for naught. And then these two over here. Oh! Okie dokie! This is fine, I guess. Either a guitarist or a bird keeper. Oh, it's a bird keeper. Natu. Now, I remember in Pokemon Gold and Silver when I thought Natus were the shit because you can only find them in one very specific area of the game. Um, and that was in the Unknown Ruins, so I thought, Oh my god, this must be a rare Pokemon. Then I tried training the little shithead, and I was like, No, this thing sucks. I never tried getting another one after that. I was like, Nah, no, fuck off. With that, I just went on with my day. Okay, let's get the star piece. That isn't a rare candy. Anyways, this is the last section of this part. Uh, our boat! It got carried away! Dude. That sucks. I mean, Slateport City is like right over there. Why don't you signal for help? You know, use, um... Use that dude's bird Pokemon to, you know, get you off of this bloody island. How about them apples? Now, I like this route, and I also don't like this route. Particularly because of I need to turn on goddamn battle animations. Particularly because of the um, all the wandering around, you know, on this on these currents. I don't like it because of that and having to turn back around. But I also like how mysterious and just out of place the route is as well because you now it just leads you back to Slateport City. But then whoa, look at that! There's like a hole over there. There's a bunch of holes that you just dive into and find things in you're like wow let's go do that and then you do and it's like oh my god so that's it for that part here i just go back do this all over again oh boy let's heal up and then do this all over again Okay, I'll take your Pokemon if you receive. Blah, blah, blah. You shut up and take my balls. Female with pink hair that apparently has sisters everywhere in this region. I, I don't like that. It's, I mean, it's goofy. And it's kind of funny, but like, what? What are the odds of sex, like sixteen tuplets being made? Like, really? Other, unless like the Pokemon universe forces uh, Nurse Joyce to like wear a wig and um, wear a certain outfit because, you know, trainers find that appealing or something. I don't know. But uh, before we go searching the rest of this route here, let's go do the thing with the um, special thing by just continuing on down and down and further down and more down and down some more. Hmm. I didn't see a way to get into that. Unless maybe I'm stupid. Let's try that again. Fucking... Okay. Of 30. Alright, give me, give me just a second though. I remembered! I am remembering. Battle scene. On. Cancel. Wait, does that mean everything just was for naught? No, it means it was confirmed. For some reason, this game... All Pokemon games until, um... I think 5th gen or fourth gen maybe, always had that as cancelled because why not? Instead of confirm, of course. And I think they finally fixed it in like one of the uh, next gen games where it was like cancel and confirm. So for the longest time, for actually for like a good 30 seconds, I was fo fixing uh, or messing around with the option settings in the fourth game or the fourth generation games and you know I want to hit cancel or like be the B button and I was like huh why didn't it get fixed what's going on here and um, yeah then I fully realized like oh I'm just being stupid I should be I should be hitting confirm not cancel 
Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way in there. Oh, right, is there? Is there? Wait, 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 stop. There is, I think. Hang on, it's like a very small thing. It's a very, like, very small section, I think. Because I saw the little boost that lets you get into that spot. I want to get in there and see what's there. Probably Corsolas. Probably a whole bunch of Corsolas. Okay. We'll keep trying. We were maybe like two off, so when we get to this one, we'll try right here. Okay, let's get in the... Nope, nope. Okay, I was wrong. Nope. There's no way to get there. Okay. Man, that's that's a bit lame. Now that definitely was a volcano then, because it's got the rocks all around it, and it's got a really deep um, valley or crescent inside. So it definitely had to be a volcano. It's like a Hawaiian volcano chain. Like this entire area right here is just a volcano chain. Or well, it used to be until Groudon and Kyogre probably messed around with it back in the old day before Rayquaza came down and said no kids stop what are you doing I don't like this okay so now we'll finally we'll finally be able to do the thing do the law get on this Get on this. Okay, and then we get on this thing. Okay, the last time we went through this, so let's try here. This should be the. Yep, there we go. Alright. So we can dive down to this one specific spot. It's pretty. It's pretty specific. And then just. Ooh, yeah! Look at that grid down there, you see that? No sense whatsoever. Why would the seafloor have grid? Now, braille. And I hope you're all ready for your- I hope you all um know your braille because it's, we're going to be seeing a lot of it. Okay, so this says, um, you- no, dig here? Yeah, dig here. So we have Twanky Dig. <laughs> and the game even tricks you like that too, it says you want to escape back to the underwater? Uh, yes? Okay, then I think it's, um, Waylord first? Or last, rather. And then Relicanth first. Oh, nope. Now, the uh, walls actually s tell a story of um, some ancient golem Pokemon. How a lot of people feared them, so they ended up uh, trapping them in this place. Or trapping them in other places. And uh, it also speaks of an even bigger golem Pokemon. Regigigas, which wasn't uh, introduced in this gen, but talks about g g the grand Regigigas and how, you know, he moved mountains and stuff. It's it's an entire story. You can read through the braille if you want, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I'll have to sit here and translate it all. I'm like, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen. But so we do that thing and it opens up, opens up doors in far off places. Specifically, a, uh, three doors. Uh, yeah, three doors. One in the desert route. One in the rainy route next to Lily Cove City. And another one in the watery route. In, um... Let's see here. In... Uh... Shoot, right there. Yeah, Route 105. Next to Dewford. Or, at least, above Dewford. 
And we will go do those later on in this episode, but there's still some more that I want to just go search around, you know, because I'm a fucking whore for rare candies, that's why. And I want all of those candy things. And it's like the day before Halloween, so we gotta go trick-or-treating in the water to get them candies. Okay, so I guess, yeah, there's like the middle path, the top path, and then there is, well, we're on the top path now, so... Might as well just go do it. Okay. Well, let me just fight this guy then. No, no, stop it! Dumb little trainer. I used to catch colds all the time as a kid, but it I became totally fit after I started swimming. <laughs> now I get colds all the time. <laughs> Having a cold is just permanently part of my being. Oh, a Sharpedo. Well. I didn't want to use takedown. No. Oh well, that worked. Never mind. Oh, and I got hit with recoil and then rough skin. Ow. That's a fifth of my health there. I didn't want that to happen, Gilbert. I'm going to murder you and your family. Just so you know. Just so that you're prepared for this. Oh god. Okay. More of the top route. So we missed that item there. Oh boy. But well, we gotta fight a trainer instead. Her name's Dana. And we're gonna put it inside of her Zoomeril. With our, uh, wait. Do I have a field type? Yeah, Torkoal. With our Torkoal. Who is also a field type. No, wait, this is a fairy. Fuck. What, and water one? Because it's a pond scum Pokemon. No, not pond scum, but like, you know, topical type of water. Mammalian lives near or by the water. Which... There's, there's three types of water um, egg groups. Water 3, which are Pokemon that live completely in the water. Like, they literally cannot live in the water. They're fish, amphibious, and um, all that sort of stuff. Then we also have water 2, which are um, kind of like the birds that live on the water. You know, um, like Pelipper, um, other Pokemon that also take homage in the water, but live... But they live on top of it, rather. Like, um, Staryu's and Starmies, you know, like those kind of Pokemon. And then lastly, we have Water 1, which are Pokemon that live near or by water. At least I think that's how it's separated. Uh, if I take a look at the, um, fan. Uh, I have my guidebook here. I don't want to pull it out. I'm going to take some time. But I think that's how it's separated. So you'd have, um, you'd have like a Pondy type Pokemon, for instance, um, oh, wow, we are just skibbly scoot doodling past everything. Welcome, I have been expecting you. There's so many trainers on this goddamn road and we have to just keep going back and forth each and every time. Oh, it's so much fun. So much fun. You can't tell I'm being sarcastic. It's slightly fun. Because it does get a lot of training here for us. But the going back and forth, eh. I have a love-hate relationship with this route. Just like how I have a love-hate relationship with the Seafoam Islands. Actually, I like the Seafoam Islands a lot more because you're only ever going to do that shit once. Rather than like 50 times. I swear, Nintendo just did this to uh, get more... Um... I'm using Dig in the water. Let that sink in for a moment. I'm using Dig in the water. Might as well just be using Dive. I mean... Ah! Poison point. Yeah. Might as well just use Dive instead of Dig. Come on, game. What are you trying to pull here? Telling me I can Dig in the water. God, the game should've just went like, No, you can't use that here. Are you stupid? It's not gonna work. What it, what is Twanky doing? Just like going down to the bottom of the goddamn scene, like picking up some rocks and just hurling it up at the Cedra. Like, haha! Taste my attack of doom. Bleh. You're going to This is why we bought all of those health items and all of the hyper potions. Yes. Full health. Brown chicken, brown cow. So, and then the middle route, I guess, has a lot more leeway. Oh, there's also a lot more things that you can fuck up on in the middle route. 
but we're just gonna proceed forward. Because that's about all we can do. I shit you not. Whoa! Whoa! I'm not even I'm not even out of the current. Shouldn't I be like bumping up against her? Like every two seconds, like boom, boom, boom. She's like, oh hello. It's like, no lady, no, 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 the current, you're pushing me against the current, so I'm literally stuck here. Well, let's dig in the water again. Oh, boy, look at all this brown water. I think what that's what happened, like, there's just a vestibule of poo that just, dro just drifts by, and Twinkie just digs through it and tosses it back up at the Pokemon. Laurel. Love Discs. Uh, what was her beginning banter again? Like, oh, I'm so lonely or something. I should have probably been paying attention. Let's see what she says when she gets defeated. Because I know most trainers don't say anything when you, um, when they beat you. You just kind of white out and go back to the starting point. Oopsie! Alright, hot stuff. What do you have to say? There's a collector who's after scales of love disc. You mean, uh, the Pokemon move tutor? 